Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 9.0, and today is day seven. So today we are going to continue on inside of our contacts applet, and we're going to talk about the ability to export your contacts. We've spent a little time on import, how to get them out now, exporting, and then take a look at our contacts home screen and how to customize what we see there. So let's dive into contacts applet, second one down here on our left hand side. We have spent some time <clears throat> in this home screen, but not really diving in. So just as a real quick review, at the very top here, you can see that you can search for your contacts. By default, you're searching all fields when you search inside of this actual box, but you can click on the drop down and say, I only want to search by first name, last name, email or address, or again, leave it as the default and you're searching all fields. You've also got filters and smart views. I'm gonna do a separate video on specifically filters and smart views, so we'll come back to that. We've spent some time on the import and add contact features here at the top, but there is this other button here with this little ellipses far top right. We're gonna click there. This is where you can check your contacts for duplicates. We'll go ahead and do that real quick. I don't think we're going to have any duplicates with this few contacts as we have, but I'll just show you how easy it is to scan those. If you did have duplicates, you'll get a pop-up that will allow you to then uh, decide which duplicate you want to keep as the primary and which one you want to be secondary. It'll then combine the information. Uh, yep, as I thought, we have no duplicates, but that's a pretty cool tool if you do have a larger database, if you want to start combining contacts that command believes will be duplicates. If you have a really big database, it can take quite a while, but it's typically worth the work. Also underneath this three little dot menu here, this is our ability to get our contacts out of command. If for any reason you needed to export your contacts, uh, you can see you've got mailing labels. So if you're doing any actual, um, you know, mail out postcards, invites, that type of thing, uh, then you can also export all own contacts. Owned is kind of a weird word when you're a single solo agent, you own all your contacts. Those are all yours and only yours. Um, owned gets a little bit different when you have a team because you have Rainmaker contacts, you have team member contacts. So as a solo agent, don't worry, you own all of your own contacts and export would take them all out. Over here on the left hand side, you can see we start off our columns with all of our names. And then from there, this is the only static column inside of command contacts. Now, if you do click on the word name, you can reorder how your contacts are seen. So whether you want them sorted by first name or last name, A to Z, Z to A. From there, all of the columns you see to the right are completely customizable. So this is sort of the stock view of the columns that have been pre-selected for you to review. Uh, contacts that have been recently active and was the last time they engaged with something that you did. Uh, when was the last time you engaged with them? So last contacted. Then you can see you've got tags, phone number, email, updated, who's the owner and who's the assignee. Now this is really only available inside of a team account, owner and assignee. You can see because we put all the contacts in the personal, we are the owner of all of those contacts. Now you may decide that you want to look at this view differently. There will be certain columns you might want further to the left, certain columns you might want further to the right. Maybe there's some columns that are showing up that you don't need. Maybe there are some that aren't showing up that you would prefer. You can come into this Customize Columns button and click on that button. What you're gonna see is there's a lot more columns that you're not viewing right now, right? So several additional fields there. So you can say, hey, you know what? I don't need owner and assignee right now. I have a team account, but I'm the only person in it. So no need for me to have that information. Um, maybe I'm doing birthday calls, so it would be important to have the birthday in there. Uh, maybe I've added some custom fields. If you'll remember earlier on in the challenge, we added custom fields. You can see that those are available as columns as well. And then on the right-hand side, this is the order that the columns actually show up. So if I was making phone calls today, I might want my phone number first, just to make it simple and easy for me to know who to dial. So I can drag that to the top and click on apply. Now these changes that we've just made are temporary unless we save them as a smart view. So to dive into smart views very shallowly, uh, our standard smart view is all contacts. And if we make any changes to the columns and we want those to stick, we wanna make sure that we click on save smart view changes. 
In addition, each of these columns does have a specific set width. If you want to make that smaller, you can sort of hover between the two columns and then you'll see we get these two vertical bars with the arrows. I can click and drag, make that column a little bit smaller. If I have a whole bunch of tags, I've seen this happen before where you have maybe four or five, six tags and they're not all showing. You can make that column a little bit wider. <clears throat> you can see once you do that, if you want that to stick, make sure you save those smart view changes. Um, in addition, you do have right now, we are in list view of our contacts. If for any reason you sort of like this tile view, um, you do have the option to do that. Um, typically I prefer list view. And then on the far top right, you can see we've got show one through 10 of 11. We have total 11 contacts in our database. Right now we're only seeing 10 of them. It's an easy number to work with, 10 contacts at a time, because I can see them all on the screen. But there may be some instances where I want to see more than 10. If I click here on this show one through 10, it'll allow me to see 25 at a time, 50 at a time, 100 at a time, or 500 at a time. So some variation there on how many contacts I see. If you have more than what the page would allow, again, this arrow will take you to your next set of, in this case, 10 or 25, 50, 100, 500. If you wanna to go to the very end of your database, you can go to the arrow with the bar and it'll take you to the very last contact in your database. Uh, further on in the challenge, we're gonna get into some bulk actions and some items that we can do within the contacts and then we're gonna take you into the contact record. But that's it for today, right now, really just the ability to export your contacts and the ability to customize your columns in your contact home screen to view them the way that you want to see them. As always, I hope you're having a fantastic day and I look forward to speaking with you again real soon.